Hello everyone, I'm Tommy D. Welcome back to Get Your Mind Right Barbecue. I hope you're enjoying our videos and recipes. Today we're doing smoked wings, whole wings out on the grill. Um, we're going to smoke these instead of grilling these. These can be done on just about any cooker. Um, but I like smoking these wings. They take a little bit longer, gives them that extra flavor, and it keeps all that moisture inside. This is one of my favorite recipes. I really enjoy them. I'm also super excited today. I got me another can of duck fat spray. They sell it at Walmart here in Athens, Georgia. I'm smiling ear to ear. This stuff is wonderful. Y'all need to go check this out. So first things first, we're going to be smoking these on my Camp Chef DLX Pro, my OG original model. We'll be running it at 275, okay? And we're going to be smoking these with some B&B &B charcoal pellets. And we're going to be running a mixture of cherry and pecan. All right, first things first, get these out of their packaging, wash them off, always wash your chicken off, pat them dry with a paper towel, get them on a board, get them in there. Next thing, you really don't have to have a binder on the chicken because they're a little moist, but I'm gonna give it that extra flavor I did with my spatchcock, it turned out wonderful. So I'm gonna give this a light spray of the duck fat spray first. So just go right over the top of them. You don't have to have much, folks. Just a little bit will go a long way here. And then I'll flip them over and do the same. Stay tuned, we're going to get these rubs on. Okay, now that we've got our binder on the duck fat spray, I'm going to separate again. I'm going to do a pan of each. Uh, this side, I'm going to do the Wiki Q Sweet Georgia Heat. I used this on that Boston butt, that no wrap. Uh, over the weekend, the holiday weekend a few weeks ago, and it turned out awesome. Um, I'm going to cook these with just the rub on them. The Sweet Georgia Heat, I like a little heat. Uh, Bay 2 and Dad, not so much. So we're going to do them a pan of barbecue style. And you don't have to get crazy with these folks with the rub. Just get whatever rub you like and give them a good dusting. Make sure you get the fronts and the backs. And then we're going to let these sit after we get this rub on them for a few minutes and let them tack up and start sweating before we put them on the grill. Sweet Georgia Heat. I'm liking this. They won uh, Best Tasting Barbecue Sauce at some UGA event, uh, barbecue event. Crackers. I hear Aubrey Ann back there in the background. My twins, they love when daddy's on the video. So we're just going to finish these up and let's get this other pan going. Looking good. Sweet Georgia heat. Wicked Q out of Watkinsville, Georgia, right outside of Athens. Get your mind right. Staying on our second pan, this seven. I'm going to give it a, a good dusting of 441 South. Monk McGuire is called the Honeysuckle Dust. This has got a little sweet to it. Um, I used this on some chicken, those uh, turkey breasts, the other day, and it turned out wonderful. So I'm going to do these. These are all local. These people are uh, from Canton, Georgia. I get this at Stripling's General Store in town here out of Watkinsville. You can check them out. They got some of the best meat in town. So just going to give these a good dusting of uh, this honeysuckle here. I like that name, the honeysuckle. I'm going to flip these over. And again, make sure you get both sides real well. That duck fat spray, is this rub sticking to them. That binder, you want to get them real crisp. We're going to put these on the grill at 275. Actually, the smoker, excuse me, 275. And these are going to approximately take about an hour and a half to two hours. And then I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on these seven. And I'm going to have just these dry rub with the sweet Georgia heat. Stay tuned. We'll meet you outside. Let's get some smoking air and have some fun. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, folks, I'm using a mixture of um, cherry and pecan, B&B, 100% &B, wood, no filler, the best pellets in the game. Running this at 275 on my Camp Chef DLX Pro OG model. I got the 441 South Honeysuckle on the left. I got those facing up, so I will remember. And then on the right side, I got the uh, Wicked Q Sweet Georgia Heat. We're going to do those full dry rub. I got those face down. I'll do that so I can kind of remember which side, especially if you got a bigger cook um, and you got a lot of them, sometimes you can get them mixed up. So stay tuned. We're going to let these run uh, about an hour and then I'm going to flip them and check them 
It's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours total. Stay tuned, folks. Get your mind right. All right, looking good. They've been on for about one hour, these wings. It's time to flip them so we can cook both sides evenly. We're going to let these roll at least another 30 minutes, and then we'll come out and check them. And then after that, about every 15 minutes, we'll check them if they're not done then. We don't want them to get too done, but we want them to cook evenly. Stay tuned, folks. Get your mind right, wings. All right, folks, it's been an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. These are looking wonderful. Um, I'm going to let them go. Basically, you can stick a probe in these and see what they are. I kind of go by, as you can see, that one's bubbling right there. You can see these white juices start poking out of them. You know they're done. So I'm going to go inside and get some barbecue sauce and get these seven on the left side here. That's the honeysuckles and get some barbecue sauce on those. Let those sit in here for about another 10 to 15 minutes and glaze up. And I'll let these uh, stay in here a little bit longer as, two, as well. Um, about total cook time is about an hour and 45 minutes once the barbecue sauce is all said and done. Some of them can take a little bit longer. And again, folks, I'm cooking these on my Camp Chef DLX Pro Pellet Smoker. You can cook these on just about any smoker you would like. Just make sure you're running it at 275, slow and steady, um, and make sure you got some good, you know, cherry, uh, pecan, some hickory, some good smoke going on, and you can do this just on about any grill. Stay tuned, we're going to get some sauce on and get these inside. Look at there, look at there, it's time to get some sauce on these uh, Honeysuckle 441 South, these seven on the left side. I'm using some uh, Fox Brothers barbecue sauce. These guys are pretty famous. These are some brothers from Texas. Got a local joint here in Atlanta, Georgia. Their barbecue sauce is pretty good in my opinion. It's got a little bite to it at the end. It's not too thick, just right. Let's get some sauce on these over here. Not the fancy, just a little. I'm gonna get both sides and let these go uh, for about another 15 minutes. And then we'll be good to go, folks. Stay tuned. All right, look at there. These uh, smoked chicken wings are looking wonderful. Uh, they've been on for an hour and 45 minutes. I let the sauce glaze up uh, about eight minutes on each side. Checked on them about an hour and a half. About an hour and 45 total. Let's get these bad boys off and get them inside and let them rest for a few minutes. There we have it, folks. I'm letting them rest for a few minutes. That's the Sweet Georgia Heat Wicked Q Dry Rub. And there's the um, 441 South Honeysuckle Rub with the Fox Brothers Barbecue Sauce. Get your mind right. These look great. We'll let them sit for about 5-10 minutes. Then we'll dig into them. Hey folks, we're back inside. The smoked wings are done. They look fantastic. Uh, we went 275. It took about an hour and 45 minutes. I checked on them about uh, after the first hour and then about an hour and 30 in I put barbecue sauce on these over here they were hit with the duck fat spray first both of them these here with the barbecue um, they were topped off with the 441 South Honeysuckle Rub and then the Fox Brothers barbecue sauce these were just with the duck fat and then the Wicked Q Sweet Georgia Heat enough's enough it's about time I try one of these I'm going to try this dry rub here Look at that inside there. Nice and moist and juicy. Mmm. Real tender, juicy. You can taste that sweet Georgia heat. It's got that barbecue flavor, that dry rub flavor, and then it's got that kick on the back end. Very good. You gotta try these out, folks. Very simple, very easy. Get your mind right smoke wing style give us a thumbs up like and follow us on facebook instagram and youtube get your mind right folks